Wow, that's a lot of green. Excuse me. Great, they finally sent someone. You here to get the body out? Uh, maybe. I'm Max Lau, cell case specialist. No kidding. I'm the lab director, Dr. Zvidzai Chigwa. Make it quick, I'm busy. What's your role here? I'm the supervisor for the telepresence factoring labs. Most of it's automatic. I just make sure it's all running like it should. Sounds like a big responsibility. <laughs> it's a lousy job most of the time. TP is where management sticks people they don't want in public-facing roles. You're not happy with it? For the last few years, my career has been one disaster after another. I'm just glad it's plateaued into some kind of stability. Can you tell me what happened? Baxter got killed. In any more detail? When we started this afternoon, a whole lot of samples had been tampered with. We tried to call Baxter to find out what the hell was going on in the specimen bank. And he didn't answer? He didn't. Turned out the door to the specimen bank was locked, too. You haven't seen the body? No, not in person, if that's what you mean. We got the camera feed online, but it was obvious that Baxter wasn't going to be coming out. When did you last see him? Hmm, I guess it could have been Wednesday. So he could have been killed any time in the past three days? Hmm, I guess, but it wouldn't fit with everything else. What's the purpose of this lab? Plant studies? Yes and no. It's a TP lab. Telepresence. There's a lot of research that's not exactly legal in some countries. But in Newton, pretty much anything goes. Exactly. If someone in the EU needs research done on something hazardous, infectious, or endangered, they send the orders here and we carry out the testing. What sort of research? Mostly we make new angiosperms from scratch. That's flowering plants to you. Gee, thanks. Why would people want new flowers? Sometimes it's a drug delivery method. The earliest commercial examples were fruit that grew packed with insulin. A lot of new wetware begins its life as gengineered fruit too. It must be awkward if they cross-pollinate in the wild. And a legal headache. Part of our job is making sure the copy protection works. Copy protection in plants? Ouch. Aside from yourself, who else works in this laboratory? There's my intern, Martin Neister, operates the factoring line. If you meet him, it's easy to see why they put him in here. And until recently, there was Dr. Baxter. Tell me about Mr. Neister. He came over from Eurofed on a study program. He's, well, he's young. I guess we're all like that in our youth. Good colleague? He's all right. He got on board with that annoying maladist trend. He knows how to follow instructions, so I let him get on with it. Is Visa still active? Dr. Lau, we do not employ undocumented illegals in this lab. Just have to check. I'm sure you understand. Tell me about Dr. Baxter. Oh, he was bad enough to work with in the 60s. As part of his parole, they stuck a governor in his head. Since then, it's like talking to a badly written synthetic. You don't care for him a great deal. That man killed Vicky. Frankly, he deserved what he got. But you still work with him. He worked for me. It was another part of his parole. Vickerman's management persuaded centralized government that his skills were going to waste in prison. The company wanted him supervised by someone who knew him. Hence, they dragged my sorry ass in. What did you have him doing? He organized the specimen bank. It's the kind of thing we could just leave him at for hours on end. Days, sometimes. Really, it could have just been done by the facility's AI, but I had to give him something. Otherwise, you'd have to talk to him? Exactly. You've got a keen mind. What's your take on this? Hey, I'm not the detective, young lady. You know what I think? I think Regis did what they ought to have done 20 years ago. Why do you say that? Seems logical. We've got him coming into the labs on security, then we got him coming out an hour later. 
When we get here, we've got Baxter's corpse contaminating the specimen bank. Anything else? Well, something strange. Since we got in, we keep finding samples that have been tampered with. Looks like he spent his hour here messing up the genomes of our specimens. Back quickly? If anyone was good enough to do it that fast, it'd be Charlie. You knew Regis as well? Yeah, I was on a research team with him and his wife back in the 60s. Baxter, too. You've apparently known him a long time. Does this seem like something Regis would do? Oh, after what he did to Vicky, I'd have strangled Baxter, too. I tell you, if he did do it, I wouldn't blame him one bit. Do you think he did it, though? I don't know. He was always kind of shady. Tell me about it. They made him do some real awful stuff out in the hot zones. Such as? Let's just say his escape led to a whole lot of people being jailed for war crimes. You seem preoccupied. That obvious, huh? We found a couple of specimens that Regis tampered with in his hour here. So I gotta run through the catalog and dig out the backups. Sounds straightforward. Not when there's 11,000 samples to take. Oh, I could punch Regis for this. Though, I want to shake his hand for Baxter so it kinda evens out. What's been done to the samples? He's used a customized viral vector to add huge amounts of junk DNA to their genomes. These are the last two I found, Medioflorens interensis and Linacea lawsonis. May I have a look? Do you think it'll help? Just a hunch. <laughs> Huh, non-binary, quaternary data string? What do you mean? My wetware systems are interpreting the genomes of these plants as sections of an audio file. He's used the DNA to store information. Hmm, you think so? It's incomplete. The two samples only make up a third of the data, but M and L, my initials. This can't be a coincidence. He's left a message. What does it say? Not sure yet. I could probably construct the whole message if I can find where he's hidden the rest of it. Safe to say it's in the other plants he's engineered. Here, take this. You can sample DNA from the plants around the lab. If you run out of sampling cartridges, you can reload it at this console. Thanks. How long would it take to sample everything in the lab? Oh, <laughs> only a couple of years. We have over 11,000 subjects. You're better off looking for specimens that would fill the gaps in the clue he left. Have you found anything else with added genetic data? As a matter of fact, I have. There was a batch of Orchidacea isotria in the growth lab and... And? Hmm, I can't remember exactly which specimen the other was. I do remember that it had yellow flowers, broad leaves, and produced long fruit. So you worked with Regis and his wife, as well as Baxter. Did you also work for Dr. Vargas? That pompous ass? Yeah, I worked for him. You don't care for him? He was a competent researcher, but he lives for politics. Everything was always about making the world a better place. And you don't think it should be better? It's a nice idea, just not realistic. And what we ended up making, it was actually never mind. Why didn't the facility's CI detect Baxter's vitals suddenly failing? It's a potentially hazardous environment in here. We were wondering that as well. This afternoon, we noticed the monitoring system in the sample lab was in recursion. All hell broke loose when the CI suddenly realized what had happened. So either you've got a technical fault with the software or wetware interfacing. Which is unlikely, given how much they cost. Or someone breached the security systems to cover Baxter's murder. That gives me more hope. Regis would have no idea how to do that. What sort of research were you conducting in the 60s? You mean with Charlie and his wife? You might not believe it, but we were the people behind Central. Central? The city governing AI Central? The same. Newton was looking for a coordinator AI. Vargas put together a team including the new Mr. and Mrs. Regis. You could me. Regis never mentioned anything about this. It wasn't a happy memory for him. He left after the unpleasantness. We finished the project a few months later. 
Huh. Might explain why he hates Central's guts. I wonder why Regis hid a message inside the DNA of these plants. DNA's been used as a data storage medium before. Rather than on-off binary, DNA would be quaternary bits. Adenine, guanine, thymine, and cytosine. If he just left a message on one of the systems, though, or even on paper... Then someone could have destroyed or erased it. Short of burning down the entire lab, they'd have no way to be sure they destroyed a message hidden like this. Especially since he scrambled so many of the other samples as camouflage. He needs to make sure it's found. And based on the layout, he wants me to find it. So, how do I build more of the message? You've got to use the sampling tool to get DNA from the plants around the lab. The sampler can take three readings before it needs to be reloaded. In some areas of the lab, the atmospheric controls will prevent the reading being taken. Apparently, he wants me to find certain samples. I've got to think about where I'm going to find them. Darn right. We've got a whole lot of A right now. What happens in the specimen bank? It's where the samples of plants and growth matrices are stored. There's a huge library of subjects to work with, natural and man-made. And that's where Baxter worked? Yeah, it's not exactly taxing. I wanted to see what he could do since they put a governor in him. You left him to work alone in there? I'll be honest, he was not a pleasant man to talk to. Is that all? For now. Then if you'll excuse me, I'll get back to work. Excuse me, Dr. Chigwa? Make it quick, I'm busy. So, how do I build more of the message? You've got to use the sampling tool to get DNA from the plants around the lab. The sampler can take three readings before it needs to be reloaded. In some areas of the lab, the atmospheric controls will prevent the reading being taken. Apparently, he wants me to find certain samples. I've got to think about where I'm gonna find them. Darn right, we've got a whole lot of A right now. Have you found anything else with added genetic data? As a matter of fact, I have. There was a batch of Orchidacea isotria in the growth lab and... And? Hmm, I can't remember exactly which specimen the other was. I do remember that it had yellow flowers, broad leaves, and produced long fruit. Is that all? For now. Then if you'll excuse me, I'll get... sample from it. It's a drone that runs back and forth on rails. Must be what they use to store and retrieve samples in here. It looks like it's controlling the sorting drones on the racks. Update Central. What is the situation, Dr. Lau? Dr. Baxter is certainly dead. He's been decapitated, and not cleanly either. His head has been removed. More like destroyed. At a glance, this would be the most likely cause of death. Nothing unusual found on the body central. Estimation on time of death? The climate control in the specimen lab is compromising your sensors. Ambient temperature is just above freezing. What is your estimation of the incident, Dr. Lau? 
There's too much we can't say for sure. We don't know precisely when Baxter was murdered. We can't even be sure that this was the cause of death. That is a fair assessment. A clearer picture will no doubt follow the autopsy. Don't send in anyone yet. I still need to carry out a preliminary. I understand. Continue your investigation of events surrounding the incident. Understood. Lao out. I hope I can find something to get Regis off the hook. It's some kind of slime. Maybe I should just sample that. I've taken a DNA sample from it. taken a DNA sample from it. It's the DNA sampler Dr. Chigwa gave me. I need to take samples from plants I think we just hid the rest of his message in. Hi there. With caviar. My name's Dr. Max Lau. I'm a cell case specialist. Those fishermen taught them English. You're not making any sense. Monsters angrily destroy the secret paper. Are you alright? Georgie promised a blow by blow. Can I get your name? I can't not promise to avoid not doing that thing I don't do. Okay. What happened here? Georgie promised a blow by blow. I see. What happened here? When will Plummer show them a photograph? I see. I give up. Only one parent quietly spat on the electric chair. I never thought engineering would be so industrial. It's like a factory line. Warning, security clearance not valid for access. 
access to growth lab. Vickerman Pharmaceuticals thanks you for your cooperation. There's some more. Looks like Regis didn't hide any data in that one. Looks like Regis didn't hide any data in that one. <laughs> I'm going to need to find where he's hidden the rest of the message before I get any sense out of it. Excuse me, Doc. Make it quick. Have you found anything else? As a matter of there was a batch of Orchidacea Isotria in the growth lab and and hmm, I brought and have you found any as a there was a batch of Orchidacea Isotria in the growth lab and, and hmm, I do brought and produce. Is that all? For now. Then if you... taken a DNA sample. Wetware's not going to... Update Central. What is your estimation of the incident? There's too much we can't say for... We don't know precisely when back... We can't even be sure... That, that is a fair... Don't send in anyone. I understand. Understood. I hope I can find... better not. If I start taking every single specimen, I'll be... I never thought engineering would be... I 
it better not. If I start... I've taken a DNA. I better not. If I start... Taken a DNA. Looks like Regis didn't hide any data in that one. Looks like Regis didn't. Looks like Regis... I've taken a DNA set. Taking a DNA. I've taken a DNA sample. Looks like re Looks like re Looks like Regis didn't hide any. Excuse me, Dr. Chigwa. Make it quick, I'm busy. I tried talking to your intern. It wasn't helpful. Oh, never mind that. He's got aphasia. Isn't that treatable? Oh, yes. He just gave it to himself. It's what the kids are into these days. Crippling neurological disorders? Yes and no. Maladism, they call it. They give themselves old diseases. It only lasts about a week each time. And you let him do that? Mm, he's not public-facing. And as long as it doesn't get in the way of his work... I figure we all did things the old folks thought were stupid back when we were kids. I can't get into the airlock. The airlock and the growth lab are secure areas. We grow potentially hazardous organisms beyond those doors. I'm trying to conduct an investigation here. Don't make me get a warrant from Central. I'm sorry, Central would likely agree with us. We can't just give anyone access to the growth lab. Not even a cell agent? I'd need a pretty damn good reason. Have you found anything else with added genetic data? As a matter of fact, I have. There was a batch of Orchidacea isotria in the growth lab and... And? Hmm, I can't remember exactly which specimen the other was. I do remember that it had yellow flowers, broad leaves, and produced long fruit. Is that all? 
For now. Then if you'll excuse me. Warning, security clearance not. Come on. New security profile created. Access granted. Welcome, Dr. Lau. Thanks. They've got these pipes. This could be useful. Looks like a lot of cartridges for the injector. like a lot of looks like a looks like a Only one parent quietly spat on the electric chair. Really? How interesting. Beached questions you injector? Say that again? Overpass did you stick me with an injector? Now I'll have to get my aphasia rejapped. Not cool, man. Excuse me. Yeah? I'm CS Dr. Lau. I've been tasked with this investigation. Martin Easter. I've been tasked with the factory lab. You work with Dr. Chikwa? I work for Chikwa. I'm just the intern. Means I get stuck with all the lousy jobs she won't do. I understand. I was an intern once. So, what's a uh, CS? You a detective? Case specialist. So, yes. I guess you could say that. Cool. I'd like to hear from you what happened. So, we came in this afternoon for the late shift, right? I check on the factoring line, and it turns out the specimens are nuked up. In what sense? They don't match the catalog anymore. Not that I'm supposed to be. 
I figured Daxter nuked it up again, so I checked the feet. That's when you found the body? Yeah, but Chigua won't let me get a look. Told me to get back to work while she called Cell. Hey, can I get a look at the body with you? I'm afraid not. Official procedure and stuff. Bummer. Why'd you go and give yourself aphasia? Not just that. There are loads of syndromes. It's maladism, man. Aren't diseases like that dangerous, though? It's not permanent, man. We ain't stupid. What where nodes in the body create the symptoms of things we want? Which you went and broke. Gee, thanks. Uh, sorry about that. In any case, they're temporary, then. Exactly. I still don't get it. What's the hook for maladism? Man, you old folk never get things like MD. Old? Most of these syndromes are diseases that are completely curable. They just don't happen anymore. Society says no to them. So it's countercultural? An act of rebellion? Exactly. Diseases like that make the establishment uncomfortable. They don't want it to be a part of their society. But we show them they can't ever get rid of it completely. You're rubbing their faces in it, then. And in another way, it's uh, kind of retro. Illnesses like that are what shape society. A Black Death made Europe what it is. Got to appreciate the classics. For a lot of us, it's also about who's hardest. Posers go for little things like botulism or influenza. But you know someone's got real nose on them if they can stand a month with HIV. So, what other diseases have you tried? Loads of them. Parkinson's, syphilis, tuberculosis. Last month, it was Hansen's disease. Wait, leprosy? Yeah, if you're a zift, Hansen's is the real name. Sounds like quite a selection. That's why I came to study in Newton. Bureau Fed's just starting to get into MD culture. Even talking about banning it. Newton's where it's at for it. You guys are a lot cooler about what you let people do. On an individual basis, certainly. That's pretty much the founding philosophy here. Dr. Chigwa tells me that some of the specimens have been tampered. Oh yeah, I found one of those. Man, couldn't they have just killed the guy without messing up my work? I need to find it. Which specimen was it? Oh, uh, a Corse Brasilia. When I found it, I just thought Baxter was nuking it up again. What did you do with it? I just sent it back to the specimen lab. It should be there in the sample store. How do young people go about getting sick these days? It's a lot harder, but that shows it's a choice. We use wetware to read symptoms, like the aphasia. The wetware I had for that was programmed to lodge in the Barocca and Vernicki regions of the brain. So it's not really Broca's aphasia? Same symptoms, though. You'd buy wetware nodes from shops? Nah, find hobby GG programmers through the trance. They're always looking to sell. It's like a contest. They're always releasing syndromes, competing with each other. You looking to get into it? Not really my scene, thanks. What do you think of Dr. Chigwa? She's a hard ass, but she knows what she's doing. Kinda thinks she feels wasted working here. What can you tell me about Dr. Baxter? Not much. He only started here a, a couple of weeks ago. Chigwa dropped him in the specimen lab and uh, kinda left him here. She neglected him? Nah, he just barely left. Could have been a workaholic, but... I think he just couldn't focus on anything else. Did he ever talk about his past with you? Man, he didn't even talk to me, period, about anything. What's your per- He didn't talk much. When Chico told me he'd been released from j looked like he had a governor in his head. That's correct. It affected his behavior? Dude, that's an understatement. That Malkin was like a zombie. One time, I dropped the whole sample tray in his lab. Anyone else would have yelled at me. He started to get mad then looked just about ready to puke. The governor inhibited violent thought. He'd been serving a murder sentence. Oh, no way. Who the whack? That's confidential. Man, that's unfair. You're a tease. Remind me, what was that spe- Jeez, what are you, senile? It was a Corse Brasileira. All right, I'll let- Uh-huh.
denied that or not, it would only take it away and store it some. I've taken a DNA sample. Biohazard trefoil on these isn't encouraging. What is this stuff? Better trance up some data on it. It worked. Hold me to this. He's been dead for not any time. I'm not going to hold you. I'm case. Faster. Good luck. I'm going to need to find where he's hidden the rest of the message before I get any sense out of it. Lab are leaking. Nah, you'll get again. No, 
better go fix it before Chihuahua starts yelling. if I start taking... I've taken a DNA sample from... I've taken it. Hey, this one's empty. to the growth matrix. Let's hope I got mom's green fingers. They're keeping things in here because they're probably... taken a DNA sample from it. I hope it doesn't grow in my pocket. Looks like Regis didn't hide any data in that one. Yes! Lau, if you're listening to this, well, it means they've got me. Oh no, Regis, no, no, no! But, but I... Lau, ignore anything left in the recording up to this point. Huh? Sorry for being so unhelpful with the message, but I had to be sure you were the one who heard it first. Everyone will be saying that I came to the lab to, well, for Baxter, and they might be right. 
except that he's been dead since before I got here. Yes. We need to touch bases on this case. Meet me. Hmm. Meet me where we were both first involved in a case. I'll try to explain when you get here. Good luck. Oh, thank God. You've got some explaining to do, Regis. I saw an opportunity for striking back at Regis, a kind of poetic justice. At Regis? You've never even met the man. Yes, but I... You haven't offloaded Baxter yet, have you? <sighs> Look, there might just be a use for your newfound vendetta. The tap on his partner was successful. She found where Regis is hiding. He's an unfactored element. Now, he needs to be removed from the equation. Don't worry. I'll kill him myself if it comes to it. There's only so much of the city's resources that can be diverted to this. Find him, finish him, then return for offloading. Remember, I'm your controller, not Baxter. Don't be so sure. <laughs> 